Boom, 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 boom. Boom, I made it. Hey guys, what's up and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Miley and I am a real big fan of struggling and doing things yourself. So actually, I think last year around this time, I decided to try out candle making for the first time and also simultaneously do a kit review. And ever since then, I have been a huge fan of making candles. Like, I think like once a month, I will sit down. It's kind of like my relaxing thing to do. I make candles. I reuse containers from like candles I already got. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Or I will take like cool containers or bowls that aren't candles and turn them into candles. I also make candles for friends and family all that stuff. So the lovely people at Public House saw my last video. They reached out to me and they wanted to send me a candle making kit. They didn't ask me to make a video on this. They only asked me to leave a review on Amazon, but this kit arrived at just the right time because I spent two weeks struggling through a giant makeover in my basement and then a week of very long editing days to go through all of that footage and turn it into a video for you guys. So I thought it'd be fun to just like sit, chill, drink some coffee and go through this kit and make some candles. So all of that being said, you guys know the drill. Let's get into it. Okay guys, let's get into it. If you are new to candle making, what you're gonna need beyond whatever kit you get, you're also going to need a saucepan filled up, usually like I like to do halfway up with water, and then a heating element. That is why I'm in my kitchen, cause I need my stove. Also, I have no idea what comes in this kit. I have wanted to keep myself surprised, so I haven't looked at any pictures of what comes in this kit, so I'm really hoping everything I need is in here. Also, I have my computer right here because I'm gonna look up how much this candle making kit is. And I'm also gonna avoid the pictures that show me what is in here. Bum, bum, okay, avoid the pictures, avoid the pictures. Okay, this kit is $39.99, which I think is like a pretty standard price for any intro to candle making kits. I'm pretty sure that's like roughly what I paid for my kit last year. Do I want more coffee before I open this kit? You know what, I'm just gonna keep the coffee over here. Boom. First things first, 10 out of 10 with the packaging. I love the colors. I like colors when it's done tastefully. Also, I am not lying to you guys. This thing did not come with like a seal or anything. So I have not opened this kit yet. Let's see what's in here. Okay. Okay, off the bat, it looks like I have everything I need to make candles, which is awesome. We have, what do we have here? We have some stickers. Okay, so these are kind of like the stickers that you can put on your candles with all of the uh, scents that come in this package. Okay, right here we also have some caution stickers because I'm a child and I need to be reminded that candles are dangerous. Have I accidentally left my house with a candle burning? Yes. Did I freak out when I got home? Yes. Okay, hey there. We just wanted to say thanks for choosing Public House. Shoppers make the best choice for them. Okay, and then we have an instruction manual. I am going to leave this to the side and go through that like as I go through the kit. I once worked with a designer that he was like, always had to take the packaging off of anything and everything because he's like, I have to let this item breathe. So I feel like I adopted that where I'm like, I gotta have this item breathe. <laughs> so I got a little distracted, but since I've only ever done one other candle making kit and then just like started candle making. I kind of don't want to compare this to the other candle making kit, but I'm gonna compare this to the other candle making kit. I already like these containers so much better than the containers that came in the other kit. These are so much nicer. So off the bat, this kit is winning. <laughs> Gotta have this item breathe. Okay, so we have two of these containers. I don't know if there's any more of these that come in this kit, but we'll keep going. 
Okay, so right here we also have wicks and also the little sticks that hold the wicks in place as you pour the wax in. And then also, this did not come in the other kit. This is so cool. They also incorporate like the crackly wicks, which I use those all the time. So I love that they incorporate both styles. And then right here we have the uh, colors that you can incorporate. Okay, so there is a third jar that came in the kit. It was just in this guy, which is the tin where you put the wax or the little pour thingy. I'm really bad at describing things, guys. Okay, so far, this is a super nice kit. Let's keep going. Let's take off all of this packaging. So many items that need to breathe. Put these to the side, boom. Yeah, hey, that landed right where it was supposed to. Okay, so these are the three scents that come in this kit. So we have vanilla caramel. Okay, we're already off to a good start because if you saw my last candle making video, you know I love like really warm, delicious -y scents. <laughs> Anything that's like vanilla or tobacco or what other, leather, I love. So we're off to a good start with vanilla caramel. Oh, I bet this is gonna smell really good. Blood orange and grapefruit. I was actually pleasantly surprised with the last kit where I actually really liked the kind of like orangey tangerine scents. And then wild lavender. So all of the scents so far, 10 out of 10. Maybe I should actually smell them, but I'll wait. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave that as a surprise. Also, dope, this one also comes with a thermometer. My old thermometer that came in the other kit is starting to get gross, so this is perfect. I needed a new thermometer. And then we have a little stirry stick that you use to stir the wax to infuse the scent into the wax before pouring it into your jar. And then we have one, two, three. We have three bags, bags. I'm from Wisconsin. We have three bags of uh, wax. I don't know what kind of wax. It looks like it's the soy wax that I'm used to using. And that is everything that comes in this kit. And this is everything you need to make candles. So all of that being said, let's get to candle making. Instruction manual. I do know how to make candles, but I'm just gonna see if there's like anything in here that I don't know, cause these instructions could be completely different the instructions from my other kit that I did. One, aluminum melting pitcher. Pitcher, that's the word I was looking for. Pitcher, I was like tin thingy. Uh, three bags of soy wax, blah, blah, blah. We already went through that. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, let's get ready to say soy wax a lot. <laughs> soy wax has a beautiful milky white look. Okay, soy wax generally takes longer to cure than other waxes, usually two to four weeks. That is interesting. The other kit I did, it was like, let it sit for two days and you're good. This also explains why wooden wicks sometimes won't stay lit. And that's actually something I've had trouble with in candle making. So thank you people at Public House for explaining why they won't stay lit. So it says cotton wicks should be one fourth uh, like long above the, the wax, while wooden wicks should be at least one eighth long. Okay, so, so far I really like that they actually incorporate why some things can go wrong because the last kit I did didn't explain really anything as to like why you do things or why some things might happen because I've actually had some of these issues in my candle making experiences since my last kit and I'm always wondered why, but just like never took the time to look it up. Okay, so now I'm just gonna follow the instructions and see how this goes. Okay, setting yourself up. We will need a medium saucepan and stove. Boom, got that over there. And we recommend you clear a workspace too. Cleared workspace, I'm on top of things. Now we're on to the good stuff. Okay, it's go time. That's what it says in the instructions. Okay, first, empty one full bag of wax. Ah, that's so satisfying. I really like truly love the sound of wax being poured into a pitcher. I don't know why, it's just, it's serene. Okay, so I've got my wax. I have to go heat this up to 195 degrees. 
Okay, so I have my wax heating up. It usually takes a little bit, obviously, but this manual also says, if included in your kit, which I do have included in my kit, selected wax dye blocks, um, you can also incorporate that into the wax at this time. For our pastel colors, we use half of one block per candle, but hey, you do you. So, I don't know what colors, they don't tell you what colors these are. So I don't know, I think I might, I'm gonna try this dark color. It says to use half or it also says you do you. Um, so I'll start with half and I'll add that in and then we'll see how that looks. <laughs> The wax I chose is blue. I did not see that coming. I really thought it was gonna be like black or purple. Blue, okay, I'm digging it, it's fine. Do I use one more cube thingy? Do I make it like real blue? I don't know. You know what, go big or go home. I'm adding one more. Okay, it took a hot sickety sec, but we are finally at 195. Let's do blood orange and grapefruit. This smells real, real good. Okay. Oh, she's dropping fast in temperature. Okay. I'm gonna stir nice and slowly. Okay, and we're done. Yes. Okay, hopefully this just fills up one so I can make three different colored candles. Pour nice and slowly. Yeah, awesome. Okay, it is a little on the full side, but you can use one bag for one container. Yay, that's a really pretty color. A real pretty. Okay, I'm gonna quickly wash this out so that we can make a few more candles. And I'm gonna see what this turns into, this purple. I think it's gonna be purple, I, th I think. Okay, and now we repeat the process. Let's go heat this up. Okay, we have the second thing of wax melted. Um, we're doing the vanilla caramel. Also, I'm getting all of my colors wrong. I really thought this was gonna be like a purpley color. I think this is gonna be a pink color color like a pastel pink when it dries but I'm not sure we're just we're gonna we're gonna find out vanilla caramel oh this is purple okay cool it looks red in the container but oh that's really pretty second candle oh let's get that bonnie hair out of the way Okay, second candle. I'm going to very slowly move it back here. Now we're gonna just repeat the process again with the final, the third and final bag of wax. Again, let's go heat this up. Okay, let's get this last candle done. Where's my fragrance? Oh yeah, that smells lovely. Okay, now you guys know the drill. We're gonna stir for two minutes. Okay, so that is all three candles that you can make with this particular kit. And these instructions say to wait at least 36 hours. So, um, and then it says, as mentioned, the ideal cure time for soy is two to four weeks. So I'm gonna wait the 36 hours and I will be back. Okay guys, it has been just under 48 hours since I made these candles. And a little bit ago, I went ahead and just like finished them up. I popped the labels on that come in this kit. I also went ahead and cut the wicks down. I also then went ahead and tested out the scent throw. I put each candle in a different room, let it sit for a little bit, and I can let you know these candles are very scented. The scent throw was there. 
very, very scenty candles. Yeah. <laughs> How's this review going? <laughs> So my overall thoughts on the kit, again, don't want to compare this to the previous kit, but I like this kit better. And my main reason for liking this kit better is the manual. I love that they actually incorporate some troubleshooting things you can do if something goes wrong in your candle making, because although candle making is pretty easy, things still can go wrong. So I love that they incorporate what to do if something goes wrong. And then I also love the jars that they incorporate. These are really nice glass jars. I'm going to be reusing these over and over and over again. Whereas the gold tins in the other kit, I have never reused those before. So they're just sitting around in all of my candle making stuff. The only negative thing I have to say about this kit isn't even about the kit, it's on me. I kind of wish I tried out some different color variations. Um, all of the candles I made, I just popped the whole whole dye block in and of course I got super duper colorful candles but I wish I would have tried to make a pastel candle and maybe even a plain candle where I didn't add a dye block but that's not on the kit that's on me and just going for it with the dye so I hope you guys like this video as always thanks so much for watching and thank you to public house for this dope candle making kit and I will see you guys in the next one bye guys